Alright folks, it's time for that follow-up. I've been promising on social media like every other day I've been tweeting. Uh, but this watch, this watch, this is the ZTE Quartz. It is obviously a watch that is not offered anymore. So before you say, oh Jay, you can't even buy this watch. Why are you promoting it? Not promoting it? Giving you that update. That for people out there who have this watch, you're just a part of an exclusive club right now. If you can find this watch right here brand new, you're a boss. Don't get ripped off though, because this watch is premium and all in its own. It's, I've, I've always felt like this. Um, when the phone, when the watch first dropped, the first thing I said was, oh, it sucks because it's only gonna come out on T-Mobile. Now there's nothing wrong with T-Mobile, but they struck an exclusive deal with T-Mobile uh, and that's it, and they sold the watch. At one point, the watch was down to like $99 or something like that, which is killer already. Um, it got an update recently uh, like a week and a half, two weeks ago is when I updated mine. And I do use the watch. But one reason why I had tapered off from using it is because of battery life. Now, the battery life on it now, with the latest update on Android Wear, boss move. I mean, it's straight up boss. It's the battery life. I haven't charged this watch in a, about two days, I believe. And I'm at about 25%. That's actually extraordinary, man. That's, that's really, really good. Um, there's a lot to like about this watch. I keep the premium band on it because the premium band, I think, fits this watch. Um, not having this premium band is not a bad thing. It's just that it comes with a, a watched band that's just hideous. It's like a rubber plastic. It just gets dirty real easy. It was just a bad band to put on this premium shell right here. I don't even understand how that came about. But this is an Android Wear watch. You can use it for fitness and everything else. Um, but the way I have it set up, I have it set up for what the way I think of the way it deserves to look. Now I still have steps and everything on there and I have all the things set up. But I wanted to give you a follow up video because again, battery life for mine took a real hit when I started to use things like Facer and things like that because for some reason if I wasn't using the, the watch faces that was come on by default, I wasn't getting good battery. So with that being said, after the Android Wear update that just happened, uh, wow, it's it's back in the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can use it for at least two days straight without charging it. And I think that's a huge plus about a person who wears a, a watch. Now, I, if you remember, I'm not really a fan of smartwatches. It's something that, I, I think it's an expensive sidekick, but this watch wasn't expensive at launch. And, you know, people who bought it thought, I'm sure they had to been thinking, whoa, this thing is hot, man. So, um, I feel like, smartwatches are still overpriced you know and i have several uh but I, I don't wear them a lot you know i really just use smartwatches for fitness but this watch right here stands out amongst the crowd because it's an older watch it's been out for over a year and then it's still getting updates and i think that's where a company can show customers love by updating the watches or updating their older products uh, not just watches phones anything tablets computers show us some love because if a person invested 150 bucks or 200 bucks, whatever the watch cost at the time, you want to get some longevity out of it, you know? If you break it, obviously, you know, it's broken, but if you're still in pristine condition and you take care of your products, you will have a good run with this watch. So if you have this watch, I'm more than certain that you are enjoying this watch. Just the overall feel of the watch, it's a weighty watch. It's a, it's a I want to say it's a man's watch. It's got a big face on it, it's thick. Um, it's it's all metal. It's just, it just looks like a regular premium watch until you get close to it and you see, oh snap, this is a smartwatch. So I feel like in this day and age, um, and it's so weird because I have these smartwatches laying all over my desk. It's crazy. Uh, but in this day and age, I think you should find you a nice premium looking watch that's not overpriced. I wouldn't suggest that you spend more than $200 on a smartwatch because uh, there's plenty of them out there for 80 bucks, like the Fitbits and everything. Those are sweet, but they're not a watch. They're, they're geared towards other things like notifications and things like that. But this, you can respond to calls, you can reje reject calls, respond to messages, emails, all notifications come through on here and it is absolutely awesome. So quick video update on this beautiful piece of hardware here. It's just the one, man, and I'm just going to rock with it going forward. And I have a lot of different smartwatches, Apple watches, Samsung, I have several Samsung watches and, you know, other little generic Android watches. But this is the one, folks. This is the one. And unfortunately, you can't buy it anymore. So again, shout out to the Quartz crew. If you have one, you're part of an exclusive club. It's your man, Jay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.